Both the mountains and mountain people have had a long-standing stereotype of being odd or experiencing situations that city dwellers don't typically experience. Like most stereotypes, there's a little bit of truth well-rooted in them. The Appalachian Mountains have been a hotbed for strange people and unexplainable oddities. Whether it is the mystery in the mountains themselves, or simply the surrounding ethos, the people of Greater Appalachia have a high tolerance for the unexplained. Oftentimes, they are content with the notion that some things are simply unexplainable. A mystery that has been solved over the years is the mystery of the Appalachian Blue People, also known as the Blue Fugits. The Fugits were a family who lived in the mountains of Kentucky and were infamous for their blue-colored skin. The odd blue skin first showed up in the early 19th century in the descendants of Martin Fugit and Elizabeth Smith, who were carriers of a rare recessive gene that caused a blood disorder that turned skin blue. The Fugits were an isolated family, so due to the small gene pool that surrounded them, significant inbreeding caused by the blue skin condition, the disease would follow their family into the late 20th century. The story starts with a French orphan by the name of Martin Fugit, who would settle with his new bride Elizabeth Smith near Hazard, Kentucky in the 1820s. By all accounts, they were just a normal couple looking to make a life for themselves in the Appalachian Mountains. Little did they know that they would become famous by simply having children. As it turns out, both Martin Fugit and Elizabeth Smith are thought to have been carriers of a rare recessive gene. This particular gene would cause human skin to appear blue in color. While there is some dispute as to whether Martin Fugit had this condition or was merely a carrier, four of the couple's seven children were born with this blue-colored skin. The credit for the eventual discovery of the cause of this unique blood disorder should go to Dr. Madison Cowan III, who was a hematologist at the University of Kentucky's Lexington Medical Clinic. He compiled an extensive list of both family medical charts and blood samples for analysis that led to the explanation of this blue-colored skin. As it turned out, the Fugit family tree had been carriers of a rare recessive gene that was able to stay in the local gene pool through isolation and inbreeding. This recessive gene caused a rare blood disorder called methemoglobinema. Methemoglobinema is a disorder where an abnormal amount of methemoglobin is found in the body. Methemoglobin is a type of hemoglobin, and hemoglobin is known as the distribution center of oxygen to all parts of the body. Because the normal activities of hemoglobin are affected, the blood supply isn't properly oxygenated, which leaves the blood a brown color and causes the skin to display a blue tint to it. The ultimate cause of this blood disorder is thought to have come from a genetic defect, where the fugates lack cytochrome B5 methemoglobinemia reductase, a vital enzyme. An interesting footnote here is that the disorder the fugates suffered from can be caused by exposure to drugs such as benzocaine and xylocaine. But the fugates are one of the only examples of this disorder occurring due to a natural genetic mutation. Interestingly, the fugates did not suffer from any complications from their blood disorder. In fact, scientists found that they were in a sort of unique balance with this disorder where they had just enough of it to color their skin blue, but not so much of it to cause seizures or other long-term medical issues. Most of the fugates in the family tree lived healthy lives well into their 70s and 80s. The main effect that this disorder had on the fugates was mental trauma. This was associated with being outcast for something you can't control, as the fugates were forced to become recluses and retreat deeper into the mountains due to their weird colored skin. This led to the disorder staying longer than it originally would have in the fugates' DNA due to the gene pool isolation and intermarriage that followed for 100 years. When trying to understand why biology failed to rid the fugate clan of this recessive gene as they procreated, you must understand the time and place they lived in. The mountains of Kentucky, like so many other mountainous regions, are natural biological barriers to the diversity of genes. Combine the physical barriers with the fact that these people quickly became recluses due to their blue colored skin and you'll see the makings of a recipe for the blood disorder to stick around. As they became more and more isolated from society, the fugus began to inbreed and marry close relatives which directly led to so many descendants of the fugates continuing to suffer from this blood disorder. Anytime a gene pool is significantly isolated from the largest societal gene pool, things like this happen with frequency. In 1975, the last blue fugate would be born in Kentucky. Benjamin Stacy would come out of the womb completely blue, and both doctors and nurses were immediately stunned. 
They described the color of his skin as blue as Lake Louise. Naturally, the staff thought the child was dying, so they rushed into the University of Kentucky's medical center in hopes of saving his life. Just as they were ready to try experimental blood transfusions on the newly born baby, the grandmother spoke up. She promptly asked the doctor if they had ever heard of the Blue Fugits of Troublesome Creek. That's when she explained that the child was a descendant of Luna Fugit, whose skin was naturally deep blue her whole life. The grandmother suspected that Benjamin received this blue tinge from his ancestor Luna, and she was right. The birth of Benjamin sparked a host of scientists and doctors to investigate the boy's blue tinged skin. However, they quickly found out that his skin had gone from almost purple at birth to a natural skin color after some time had passed. Benjamin Stacy would be the last instance of the infamous Blue Fugits, but he would not have to suffer the mental trauma that his ancestors did for being different because his skin reverted back to normal except for a slight tinge of blue on his lips and the tips of his fingers. Even though both scientists and journalists have tried to find Fugit descendants living today, they have been largely unsuccessful. In fact, they can't even confirm that Benjamin Stacy is alive today. There have been no known births since Benjamin in 1975 that have involved the infamous blue skin of the Fugits. But that is not to say that no one carries the recessive gene anymore. There is a chance that someone still carries the gene, but it will definitely be eliminated from the gene pool at some point in the near future. While some people in the mountains may have been satisfied with the unexplainable blue skin, it is encouraging to know that we can find the answers to some of life's mysteries, even if they seem stranger than fiction.